so we'll see how you can create your first script that will be a very interesting thing okay but before starting uh, let me tell you like we use cell scripting uh, mostly for the purpose of the automation okay if you want to automate some kind of your, some kind of task then you can use the cell scripting as an automation uh, like not as an automation you can say like uh shell you can use the cell script as a tool to automate your work okay so now first of all now let's come to the point and we will learn about the what is a shell okay so shell is nothing but uh, you can say it's uh, just like uh, interface which provides you to write some codes and out write some commands so right now this uh, terminal is using the bash shell okay so but also according to the some other articles some books uh, shell is uh, just like an interpreter like uh, it basically runs uh, 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 like executes the command line by line okay so that is the work of the interpreter like it executes the code line by line and if uh, some error occurs then it will just throw it on the screen so shell is just also like an interpreter it basically interprets the .sh files or .sh programs you can say or you can say the scripts so now you will say, say what is a script so a script is nothing but the like your program file just like in python you create .py file so similarly in, in cell scripting you know, or in batch scripting we create the .sh file okay so why we say like shell acts like interpreter because it interprets the .sh files or .sh programs you can say so I hope you got a fair idea about uh, what is a shell. Okay, so now let's start with the basic concept like what are the different types of cell in all this Linux operating system. Okay, so there are many cells like bash shell and also uh, like k-bone cell, born again cell. Okay, so you can get the list of the cells uh, in this particular directly, uh, not directly, it's a directory. Okay, so here you can see the multiple cells is being used or present in my this operating system. So for this whole series, we will uh, uh, like stick with the only the second one, this one bash is bash. That means born again shell. Okay, but uh, this uh, SH the first one shell was the first shell uh, which was created by the Linux, and the next uh, there is born again shell came into the role. So uh, we will use the born again shell for our this entire series and uh, now what we have to do, uh, we have to just create a one single script of hello world and uh, also let me tell you the, what is this bin, so the cell, your, your shell will be present in this bin directory, okay. So now, uh, but before creating your first script, let me tell you the uh, what is script is being used by this session or by this terminal so you need to just enter this echo and the shell dollar shell and here you can see the bash shell is being used okay now what we have to do we have to just create the first script that is the hello world script how we will do it we will just uh, I'll move on to the desktop and I'll create the cat hello world dot sh why dot sh? Because uh, like we are creating the cell script, uh, script. So bash script. That's why we are using the dot sh extension. So here you can see the file has been created. Hello dot sh. Now I will use this hash slash bin bash. It's just like uh, this line basically tells like uh, tells our script or our the shell to which shell to use like uh, tell the interpreter which shell to use so here I am just defining like I want to use to be bash again uh, shell that is this one bin bash not sh okay so now I can do echo echo is just like the print command okay echo hello world I'm learning bash scripting this one now hit control D and to run the script uh, you need to add some permissions so you cannot directly run the script if you will check the permission for hello world.sh so here you can see this is only read write permission you cannot execute that script 
So to uh, give the particular permission to this particular file, you will need to just uh, give, add the permission using the ch1. You will, if you will use plus x and the hello world dot is the name of the file. So permission will get added, and here you will see the execution permission has been added, and the color also has been changed from white to the green. Okay, now to execute what you do, you have to just do dot slash and the name of the script and we are done. So as you can see, our script has been executed successfully. Okay, so I hope you like this uh, guys.